All right, so today we are going to be taking a look at the Dokkan V-Jump scan for this month, courtesy of, uh, let's see here, Ozzy101111 on Twitter. So a big shout out and thank you to him. And as you can see, it's basically a preview of the upcoming Dragon Ball Heroes collab, which is happening at the end of this month on both Global and JP. So starting from the top left here, we have the Xeno Pan which was revealed uh, a few weeks ago, so not really a surprise anymore. But what is new is this Robelu, who is going to be a summonable unit for this year's Heroes collab. So the two confirmed summonable uh, new Heroes characters are Robelu and Xenopan. They're both going to be getting Dokken Awakenings upon release, which is really nice. And uh, of course, we'll be getting other units as well. This is just the ones that are confirmed, we should be getting at least three or four others, so five or six in total. So don't be too upset if your preferred character isn't being shown here. You know, maybe a Super Saiyan 3 Rose or a Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta or whatever it may be. Those are still possibilities. They could still be coming. These are just the ones that are confirmed. And if you don't know who Robelu is, which... Uh, I honestly didn't really know before I looked it up. We'll talk about that in a second. But let's scroll down a little bit here to the bottom of the page. And uh, on this bottom left corner, we have a new Demon Goddess Poutine, who is going to be a free-to-play unit that you can farm from a new stage of last year's Dragon Ball Heroes event. And on the right side, we have a ton of Extreme Z Awakenings announced for some of the older uh, Dragon Ball Heroes units. So in total, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven EZAs, guys. Seven Extreme Z Awakenings that we're getting this year on top of the five token awakenings that were previously announced for like the Xeno Goku, the Xeno Vegeta, the Vajax, and so on and so forth, right? So if you combine those with these, that is going to be 12 awakenings, 12 Heroes Awakenings for this year's collab. And on top of that, we have the free-to-play poutine, we have the Robelu, the Pan, and at least three other new units. So, that's a lot of stuff, guys. That's a lot of new awakenings, new units, a lot of new content uh, for this year. Uh, definitely looking pretty good, in my opinion. Some people have been, you know, talking about how, like, last year's collab was better, but you don't really know until it actually happens, right? Like right now, we're just getting some, you know, early information, some previews. And to me, it's already looking really good just because of the sheer number of awakenings, you know? Like even if you don't get the new units, even if you don't want to summon for the new units, just with like the amount of upgrades to older units we're getting, um, I feel like that's a good amount of content already, but that's just me. So... Anyways, that is the V-Jump scan. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Let me know, be honest, if you knew who Robelu was, because I honestly didn't. I've heard of Poutine because I did play a decent amount of the um, Heroes game that came out on the Switch a few years ago. So I remember her from there, but I don't remember seeing Robelu in the game. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe I forgot. Not really sure. But uh, yeah, did you know who these characters were before you looked it up? With that said, though, let's pop over to the uh, Dragon Ball Wiki and uh, get familiar with Robelu and Poutine. So apparently, Robelu is Demon God Demigra's secretary and a member of the Demigra army. Appearance. Robelu is an attractive pale-faced demon, agreed, with red eyes, pale olive green skin, and long black hair who wields a staff that she uses for offense. Okay, so... They say staff. That looks like a sword to me, but okay, it is what it is. Uh, personality, she has a habit of gloating about how smart she is when Xeno Pan comments on how pretty she is. Robelu blushes from the compliment. Okay, interesting. Uh, background, Robelu was a spy for tens of thousands of years within the Dark Empire. So obviously we're not going to go through all of this stuff, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little synopsis of who these characters were so basically what you need to know is that she works for demon god demigra 
as his secretary and is a member of the Demigra army. So there you go, that is Robelu. Moving on to Putin. Putin is one of the strongest wizards during the foundation of the Dark Demon Realm. Putin is referred to as Two-Faced Putin by the Demigra army due to having betrayed Demigra. Okay, so she used to work with slash for Demigra and then betrayed him. Interesting. Appearance. Putin has light blue skin with aqua colored hair. She wears a yellow and white garb. Upon becoming a demon goddess, her appearance changes so that she gains marks below her eyes and her outfit changes to a black dress with a yellow cape. In her second demon goddess form, Putin gains red and gold thigh pads and her black dress covers her cleavage. That's not fun. Unlike the outfit of her first demon goddess form, her long skirt ends up becoming a loincloth with black, uh, tight black shorts underneath and she wears high heel boots that go halfway up her thighs. Poutine gains marks around her eyes that slightly resemble flames, plus her hairstyle changes to a long and wavy ponytail that seemingly forms an S with the long bang from her previous demon goddess uh, form being retained. Personality, Poutine has a habit of giving nicknames to her allies and addressing them with these rather than their real names, referring to Toa as Sis, Gravy as Meat Shield, and Salsa as Genius. Alright, so uh, that is Poutine for you, and of course, the one we're getting is in her demon goddess form with uh, the wavy hair, the marks around her eyes, the loincloth, thigh pad, armor kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I think she looks pretty cool. I really like her design actually. So that is the Poutine. And uh, as far as who's getting the Extreme Z Awakenings, the picture is a little bit blurry, it's a little bit small. So taking a closer look here, we have an easy A for the AGL Darkness Toa, uh, the AGL Baby Janemba, the Int uh, Kid Boo Bobbity slash Boobity, uh, the Super Pycon, the Int Super Saiyan 3 Teen Gohan, the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Teen Trunks, and also the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Extreme Z Awakenings on top of the five Dokken Awakenings on top of the free to play uh, Poutine and also at least, at least five summonable units. Uh, I'm guessing they're saving the best one, the most hype one as a surprise or maybe to be revealed in a Dokken Now or a stream or something like that. So stay tuned for those details. But uh, there you go, guys. That is the Dokkan V-Jump scan for this month. Let me know your opinions in the comments, how you feel about it, all that good stuff. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.